Hello there. In this video, we will be looking at how to do concatenation of visualizations inside Deneb, which is simply either putting a, two charts, two visualizations side by side or on top of one another. So like a concatenation. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because I thought when I was looking at the documentation, when you're using multiple layers, it wasn't precisely what I was looking for. So I thought maybe let's do a video. And luckily it's pretty straightforward. So what I have here is a Deneb visualization. That's already set up. I've already kind of done for the most part what I wanted in that visual, which is simply a bar chart. And what I'm looking at are like sales values. But what I want to put is something on top of that visualization that's going to allow to show me like a year on year percentage change. So that's what I'm going to use my V concat for. V, of course, meaning vertical H would be horizontal. We'll get onto that in a little bit. But as I say, it's really straightforward. So here's my, my visualization. Um, again, it's already pretty set up. Um, if you don't understand lots of these elements or some of these elements, look at my previous videos and they will explain it to you. But I have all of my layers set up already. So for me to get started, the easiest way to understand what I had to do was to simply kind of create the same visualization stacked on top of my existing visualization. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, just create the V concat that I need. So here I'm simply going to, before I actually have my layer, I'm going to type V concat. And then I open a square bracket. The next thing I have to do is then everything that's in this layer, I want to, and actually also the encoding, everything that's in the layer and the encoding, I want to kind of close it off. So I need after the square bracket, I also need another curly bracket. So as you can see here, before I didn't have the V concat, the square and the curly bracket. So at the very bottom of my visualization now, as you can see, this square, when you click on them, it kind of highlights the two values that you're clicking on at the top and the bottom. So the square bracket has doesn't have one and the curly bracket does. So what I want to do is first here, before I get to this, uh, sorry, yeah. When I get to this curly bracket, and I'm then going to put in a square bracket to close off the V concat. And then I'm going to put in another curly bracket, which cl again closes off the entire set of code. I'll apply that change. And what you see, first of all, is that the visualization has changed size, but that's it really. Why is that? Well, when you're using the concat, you actually do have to specify the size, the height and width of your visual. So that's the next thing I'm going to do just to keep it nice and clean. I am actually going to again, specify the height and the width of that. So nice and easy to do inside the, this V concat here. Before I get to my layer, I'm just simply going to say width 1200 height 150. I apply that change. And that's what I have. Great. So obviously, I could apply other values, I could say, you know, width, height, whatever, but I've, that's the values I've chosen. So I've set up my V concat, but I need to actually concatenate with something. So what am I going to do? Well, the easiest way to do it is take everything that we have. So if I just clean up the code now, so it's easier to kind of see where everything is, everything that we already have here, why not just like copy it and then paste it. So we have the same visualization on top of one another, like I said before. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I love copying and pasting. So then I'm going to do a bit of that. I will then paste it. I put in a comma, apply that change. And then you will see that, which is I have my two visuals, one stacked on top of the other. If I go back to the report view, just so you can have a look, this is what I have now. Let's make this visualization a little bit bigger. And this is what I have. So I can also make it a bit wider if I choose to do so, which I probably will, but that's what we're looking at right now. Because what did I, what I did was simply copy and pasted 
the first visualization and then pasted it on top of each other. And it's literally concatenated everything within those two square brackets. So the concept is really straightforward. Everything that I do from this point is simply creating a new visual up here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make this slightly wider as we just discussed. And then we have that is my 1400 because you can see now I copied and pasted it. What I was doing was changing the height of the top one. So you can control the height and the width separately. And depending on what you want to visualize, that can be very helpful. In this visualization, because I'm using a date axis, I want to keep those running like on top of each other. Otherwise, it could get confusing. For my height of my second or my the bottom graph, should I say, I'm going to make it a little bit higher. And then you start to see small differences. So that's it. That is what a VCon cut is. It's simply putting one visualization on top of another. But let's make some more changes so you can see the value in doing that. I don't want to just, that would obviously make no sense whatsoever, right? To have a visual on top of another visual to display the same data. So as you can see, we had that functionality already because I put them in. If you click on one, it highlights other, which is great, really helpful when you display other data on top. So instead of a bar for my top visual now, say I want to have a rule like that, and that's what it looks like. Great. So I can make other changes, of course. I don't want to, sh to show the, um, the same value. So within my X and my Y axis, within that Y axis here of my top visual, it says field actual. So instead of using that, I can just use my actual year on year percentage. And then you see the values change, the line the changes, yeah? You can see here, the line is changing, but the value stays the same because I haven't yet changed the text. As you can see here, it says actual. So what I need to do now is apply that same change to my text field, and I hope that works. Well, it does kind of work because obviously, I also need to apply some kind of formatting to that. So that's what I'll do now. I simply write format and then I specify that I want that to be like a, um, say 0.1%, see how that works. And there you go. So I'm slowly bringing some value to that. What I also can choose to do, which is probably what I will do. Um, I want to say that the axis here, I don't want to, have to repeat the axis. So then I can just say axis null. And now I've null the axis. So you might not like that. I, I prefer it, I think. You might want to repeat that axis. I'm not a fan, but that's entirely up to you when you're designing your visual. This is again, just showing you the functionality. I never claim what I do is best practice. I just claim what I do is showing you how to do things within Deneb using Vegalite. Please remember that. I'm not showing you visual best practices here. Um, yeah, so you can see we are starting to create some interesting and hopefully something insightful. So again, we can go back to this visual view and you can see you have your percentage change. We still have work to do to, you know, make it look decent, I think. But I would say we're almost there. So what I can also do is, for example, as we've done in previous videos, you can change where the text sit depending on where you actually what the value actually is. So I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Okay, I don't want to take too long showing you all these bits and pieces. What I'm going to do is in true Blue Peter style, if anyone can get that reference, there's going to be one that I prepared earlier. So this is I'm going to copy and paste some stuff in that I wrote before I actually started recording this video. So what I'm going to do is do lots of stuff primarily in the text here, all this font weight. So I'm going to go everything from my mark in my text. Hopefully I'll copy and paste it correctly. If not, I'll have to fix it. No, it was fine. So as you can see, I added some stuff. Again, I copied and pasted that quickly because I've discussed that in previous videos. I just want to show you the end result of why you might choose to do an H concat or concatenate axes. 
Now, the weight of the text is determined by, you know, is it above or below zero um, or above or below the value that's specified here. So if the actual, so the current year is great or equal to the previous year, then set this font weight else a different font weight. And that's the same thing for Y offset for my color. That's what I've done. I also, what I did in my, when I did this previously, I also decided to add something to my line. So this, um, this rule that I have here, and that was simply to put like a point on top of it because I thought it looked quite nice. Not a huge thing, but I'll just put that in now and I can you do that and hopefully that's worked. Oh, it didn't work. That's unfortunate. Oh, it did work. It was a delayed response there. So that's what we have. I'm of the opinion that looks pre pretty decent. As you see, you click on it, brings it across. Um, when I'm clicking on one, it highlights the other. It's not doing that for the text because I haven't actually put that into the text for the, um, the opacity yet. So if you can see here, for example, on this um, bar, I've got opacity is set to the condition. So if I just copy that and I put that also into my text mark, that will allow me also to have that same functionality in my text mark. So now when I click on it, everything also on the top one is highlighted as well. Cool. So that's quite nice. You may want to add some context to that. So what you can also do is you can also actually give each one a title. So to give them a title, what I want to do is just within this first, after the square bracket, within this first curly bracket, just say title year and your percentage. Now I have title year and your percentage. And then also for the second one, when I get to my, um, yeah, the second value that I'm kind of concatenating. See here, we did it just before we did the width and the height. So I can find the same value here and just go title and then just go current year value, something like that. And then we have current year value. Once you've put those titles in, you may feel it's a little bit cramped, the two visuals, the way they sit on, on top of one another like that. Um, you can change that, that's not a problem. We can simply go back into our visualization here. And by default, I believe the spacing is, the value is 20. So I can just change that. And before I actually go in to my concatenation square bracket, I'm just gonna specify spacing of 30, make it a little bit bigger, apply that change. And as you can see, it drops down. I've got some more space so I can use that. I think 50 is probably too much. Um, but you can see it changes when I specify my spacing. Let's go back to 30. There you go. That's it. So the joy of copying and pasting in Deneb makes some stuff really easy. Like I say, the concatenation, I think it looks really cool. I think it really helps you add um, some context to your visual. So yep, you can see the value this year on the third of the fifth was 400. Then you can also see pretty much straight away without, without clicking on it, that that is a 21.2% increase from the previous year value. And here on the second of the fifth, we have 319, which is a minus 18.8% on the previous year. Very cool. And of course, to do that, all we needed to is put in the correct values here. Pretty standard stuff. So one final thing. You can also concatenate a concatenation, you know, which is to say what I've done here is, as I said, a V concat. Now, if you want, you could create like a grid of, you know, four visualizations. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm not going to do everything that I just did here. I'm just going to quickly show you how you do it. I'm not then going to change the visuals and stuff 
because that would take too long. And I know your time is very valuable. So I'm going to take my VCon cut. Before I get to my VCon cut, I'm going to say H con cut. And I want to apply exactly the same logic that I did before when I was doing my VCon cut, which is to say what I needed to do, if you remember, was to put in a curly bracket. So I have, as you can see, H concat, open it up with a square bracket, and then this, the um, curly bracket to start off my V concat. Now, I'm going to copy everything that I have, because now you can see, as we said before, that my curly bracket now finishes off the square, um, this curly bracket. So now what do I need to do? Same as I did before, add a square bracket, add a curly bracket. I think that should work. Good, it did. So when I mean work, I mean don't break anything. Because remember, I haven't actually specified anything to concatenate yet. So what I'm going to do now is do exactly what I did before. And I'm going to copy everything that's in this V concatenation. So everything from line 156 all the way up to here. And then I'm going to do that, paste it in, put in my comma to separate those two off, apply the change and hope for the best. Cool. So nothing broke, always a good start. And then if I just go along, you can see I have again, those two visuals side by side, because I've got an H concat and a V concat side by side. And that allows me to do that. So obviously, at this point, what you would do is change the value so you're not showing because that obviously now makes no sense, right? Because why would you ever ever want to do that as in display the same visualization side by side. But obviously, you would change these ones or you just change these. You you change some stuff. Basically, you change what's in those visualizations. So you could have a concatenation that makes sense. But it's a really cool thing that you can do that. And as you can say, and um, as you can see, sorry, when I click on stuff, it will also highlight those. So you still have the cross highlighting between the visuals, you don't lose that functionality. And that will also work with the visualizations that are outside this Deneb concatenation. Really cool thing to do very powerful functionality really lets you add um, a lot of value into what you're visualizing. And yeah, I hope that made sense. Um, once I worked out how to do that, I was very happy because I could create some cool stuff. I hope it allows you to also create some cool stuff. Um, let me know in the comments, do you like the idea? Do you think you're going to use it? Could you do anything better than what I've done? I'm sure you could. Let me know. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and um, hang around for the next video. I don't make them very often, but when I do, I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. Goodbye.